Hello, Chago Alves here. Today, you're going to learn how to install OpenPLC Editor on three main platforms, macOS, Windows, and Linux. But before we start, I would just like to mention that this video is only possible because of the love and support of our OpenPLC friends. If you like this kind of content, please consider visiting our Patreon website and becoming an official OpenPLC sponsor as well. So let's jump in and start with our first platform, macOS. Okay, so we're gonna install OpenPLC Editor on macOS. To do so, all you have to do is open up your Safari browser or whatever browser you're using on macOS, and then go to the openplcproject.com website. On the landing page, you will see three options here to download uh, the OpenPLC Editor. Since you're on macOS, just hit macOS. And then you have a chance to contribute to the project. If you just want to download, you can just hit the Just Download button and it's going to download OpenPLC Editor for macOS here. macOS will automatically decompress the zip file and create a folder to put the contents inside. You can just click on that folder to open up on Finder. And that comes, uh, let me back, get back to Finder here. It comes with the application itself and a README, right? Uh, so to run it, um, you will have to right click on, on the application and hit open because it does not have a signed developer certificate. So you will have to do this. Otherwise, Gatekeeper will complain and not allow you to launch it. But also if you open the application like this, um, it's going to tell you that you need to move the, um, the application itself to the Applications folder. It won't allow you to launch it from uh, any other folder besides the application folder. So we'll do this. We'll just move it to our Applications folder. And here it is, right? So we have OpenPLC Editor placed on the, on the right folder here. But before we launch it, um, the editor needs some libraries uh, installed on your system before it can run. The easiest way to install those libraries is through the terminal. If you just launch the application here, it will try to install everything for you, but sometimes it may fail depending on what version of macOS and the system configuration you have. So it's easier to just go to terminal, open terminal, and there's this neat command on macOS called Xcode dash select dash dash install this is gonna install um, xcode command line tools and this is basically all the compilers uh, required on mac os so um, uh, open plc editor use those compilers to generate the binary files for the plc's they're going to program so you need that installed for for open plc editor to to be able to run all right so you're just going to hit install here agree to the license and then uh, it will start downloading the software for you and installing everything that is needed. Okay, now it says that the software was installed so Xcode command line tools um, finished installation. So now I'm done with the terminal I can just exit and close terminal. I'm now ready to launch OpenPLC Editor. And when it launches the first time, it will use the Xcode command line tools to finish installing the other libraries that are required to launch um, OpenPLC Editor, right? So it asks you if you want to install those. If you say no, it will just not launch the editor. If you say yes, it will launch up another terminal window uh, and will start um, installing all those things for you. The first thing is that it asks for your uh, pseudo password or your administrator password to install those libraries because those things are being installed system wide. So you can go ahead and type in your password and it will continue installing everything. All right, once you see this window, it means that the installation of the, the libraries have finished. This can take a while depending on your system and configuration. So just please be patient and let it go through everything. 
Uh, now that it has finished, you can just exit terminal, close the windows, exit terminal as well. Now you can launch OpenPLC Editor as any other application. Just double click on it and it will launch. Now that the editor has started, uh, the first thing that is generally recommended for you to do is to go and check for updates. Uh, sometimes uh, just the, the version that is on the website is not the latest version. This updater will just go directly to the source code on GitHub and detect if there is a newer version. And that's the case, you see there is a, a newer version. All you have to do is answer yes and it will download the latest code for you automatically and install it. All right, so to finish installation, you need to restart OpenPLC Editor. That's okay, just go click on File and Quit and start it again. Now we are in our latest version for the OpenPLC Editor. As you see again, this is the beta version for Mac OS but um, most of the functions should work as intended. So this is OpenPLC Editor for Mac OS. Let's move to a different system. Here I have Fedora. Um, the same thing applies for Fedora. Uh, to start, all you have to do is open up your browser and then uh, go to the openplcproject.com website. I'll just make it bigger and download it for Linux right because we are on Linux this is Fedora but it should also work on Ubuntu or any other Debian variant as well um, just wait for it to finish downloading and once it has finished you will see that uh, it will download a zip file you can just open the folder for that zip file and uh, first thing you gotta do is just extract that zip file here okay and uh, I won't leave the, the OpenBLC editor on my downloads folder. I'd rather have it on somewhere else like documents for example. So I'll just move it there. Okay. And you can also rename it to anything else you would like. Uh, I'll just keep it OpenBLC editor for Linux for now. Right. Uh, and here I have the OpenBLC editor folder uh, with all the files needed for the editor to run. But um, I will go ahead and launch the installer. The preferred method to launch the installer here is through the terminal. So I'll just go here and start terminal. Okay, uh, let me make this bigger. Okay, that's big enough. Uh, then I will just go to documents, open PLC, open PLC editor. That's the folder where I put it. And again, uh, because of the spaces, sometimes, you know, the, the folder names can be a little fancy here on terminal. You can just rename it to whatever you want. It might be easier for you to navigate to that folder on terminal. But here I am on the OpenPLC editor for a Linux folder. And um, here is the installer, right? So I'll just launch the installer. You don't need to launch it as administrator. Just uh, uh, type install.sh and it will start okay as you see it's asking for the uh, uh, root password for the administrator password this flow can be a little different on different distros so for example ubuntu usually it will ask for the admin password at, at the beginning but um, at some point it should ask for your password you just type your password and move on all right so it has finished installing now I can just open OpenPLC Editor going to the activities here on GNOME 3. Usually all the applications will stay there. Here on Show Applications, um, you would see that somewhere your OpenPLC Editor icon will, will show up. Then you just need to click on it to start. If for any reason you don't see the icon there on your launch menu, or it doesn't work for whatever reason, you can also start OpenPLC Editor from the terminal. Just type, um, you will see that after the installation has finished, you will create a new um, um, script to launch the editor here. So you just type dot slash OpenPLC Editor dot SH, and it will also start the editor for you. So it doesn't matter if it's from the terminal or if it is from the launch menu, you should be able to start it. Okay, 
All right. Same as on macOS, once you have finished uh, installing it, just go ahead and click check for updates to make sure you're on the latest version. Again, this is not the latest version. The installer supplied on the website is not the latest version. So you just click on yes to update it to the latest version. And again, it will download straight from the source code, install it, and you'll be good to go. Now it has finished installing. Uh, same as on the macOS version, you need to exit the editor and start it again to be able to launch um, the updated version. All right, now you can see that you are in the latest and greatest, um, Open PLC Editor 2.01, that's the release date. Uh, you can check the sponsors here as well. Everything is good to go. Uh, for the Linux and Windows version, one cool thing is that it comes bundled with some tutorials and examples that you can try. So, for example, since we're here, let's check the Blink example, right? I just open it up, and here is a little project that will blink an output. I can see if everything was installed correctly by just launching the simulation here. It should compile and launch the uh, a simulation of, of this example. I click on this glasses icon here to debug the instance and I can see right there that the blink LED is blinking. So code is working and the editor is working. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. All right. So next, let's go to Windows. Similar to the other platforms, uh, you need to go to the openplcproject.com website to be able to download the Windows version, right? Same thing, just go to openplcproject.com and click on Windows. Now you will just download the Windows version. Okay, the Windows version is the easiest. It comes with a .exe installer. You can just open up file here. And then you click on yes and it will start the OpenPLC installer. You can just hit install and it will copy over all the required files, libraries uh, for you to launch OpenPLC. For Windows, OpenPLC is a pretty much self-contained application, so it's portable. You, you can just copy that folder over to any other machine and it should be able to run. It doesn't install any system-wide libraries. Everything that it needs to run is right there on the package. All right, installation has completed. You can just close the installer, and just minimize here. And you will find the uh, OpenPLC shortcut on the start menu. You just type OpenPLC and it will find it right there. You can click on the icon to launch the editor. Again, let's go ahead and check for updates to see if we can get the latest version. And yes, we do have an update as well. So let's just download the latest version and install it. Okay, the latest version was downloaded. Let's install it by launching OpenPLC Editor again. Okay. And you can see here that you are in the latest version. Again, you have all the sponsors and everything. It's all working. You can test your environment by launching one of the examples. Let's go and launch Blink again. Just as on the Linux, you should have a little Blink LED example built in the editor. You just click on this button to start the simulation. It's compiling the project, connected. And now I can see that indeed it's blinking the LED as it was supposed to be. You can even see the LED going up and down on the graph here. Pretty cool. All right, that concludes our installation tutorial for the OpenPLC editor. Thank you very much for watching.